All right, so I'm going to show you how to make something like this. This is kind of complex. I can't really show you in a single video. So I have to make a couple of videos about like the parts of it. Okay, so new file. Delete the default cube and add a plane. I'm going to go into edit mode with tab and then shift Z scale 20. And then I'm going to do control E, subdivide. So we got a bunch of faces here. I'm going to add a curve that's a beezer. We're going to go into edit mode and then scale it. So I have a curve there. I'm going to add a mesh that's a plane. I'm going to go to tab, edit mode, scale it to 0.1. Then I'm going to give it an array modifier. We're going to say to fit curve, and then we're going to say the Beezer curve. And then we're going to give it a curve modifier. And then we'll pick the Beezer curve. And there it is, we have a road there. So I'm going to grab the Beezer curve and lift it up a little bit in edit mode. So there it is. Now I'm going to take this guy, we're going to go to geometry nodes. new do attribute proximity input object info select our Beezer curve we're going to do curve curve to mesh and then we click this up to here and then we say edges because it doesn't have any faces and then distance and we can leave this blank we're going to do a attribute vector math node and we're going to add 5 to position and store it as position 2 and then we're do attribute mix and then we're going to say position and position 2 and then it comes out as position so now it just moved it up that amount we'll say 10 Eight, five. so anyway we set this to attribute and right now if we set it to distance it'll look kinda crazy like that because it's not clamped so we could do attribute clamp distance So you can use it that way to like create cliffs. Here, just a second. You could do attribute math add. So, so now wherever you draw a line, it's going to take a cut out. We want kind of the opposite behavior. We want it to push it up. So, we're going to get rid of this, get rid of this, connect that back up, remove this, say zero for now. So, we're going to take an attribute math node and do multiply distance times distance. And then we'll call that D2 for distance squared. And then we're going to divide 1 by D2 and call that new output value. We're going to try value here. There we go. So now we have a gentle bumping up.
So anyway, here's that. So now you can bump geometry up to kind of meet a road. And that's handy and everything, but you notice how it went over the road. We don't want it to ever do that. So now we're going to add in the second part. We're going to add in at the beginning. Raycast. And then we're going to do an input that's a material, I mean an uh, object, and then we're going to use the road, which is called plane point zero zero one. So we take its geometry and put in for target geometry. And then hit, we're going to add an HP. So we'll know if it hit and where it hit. So. Mix position with hit point and then that produces position and then as the attribute we're going to use hit so now we've snapped to the road, but we won't snap over it. So now we're going to take that hit position. We're going to add to the hit position a vector, negative 0.1. So now the, we can even go a little further than that, negative 1.1. So now the road won't come up over this. So now we uh, add one more thing, smooth modifier. Oop. So there we go. It'll pull up to it, and it'll also push it down. if you get too close to the bottom here, bottoming out. So we can go to that node graph again, and I divided one, we can adjust that. To adjust the effect. go. So now we'll delete the curve. I'm going to add a new curve. It's a circle. So there you go. So that's the basics of it. Now the other mesh, I added Perlin noise to it, and I had it fall off using the value that I used to have the road push up, so that if the Perlin noise gets muted here, and then expressed here, we end up with that last scene that you had seen before. So again, it's using proximity, and to use it to taper the way values are mixed together, or to subtract from a value and clamp it. Alright, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to ask questions, drop me a like, and subscribe.